Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you how to increase FPS and lower ping in Fortnite Chapter 2 or Fortnite Season 11 using one simple application that will boost your FPS and fix lag and also the Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 11 boost pack. So make sure to watch this video till the end and follow all of the steps. Before we start this tutorial, we're gonna make a restore point just in case that you want to revert the changes that you will make in this video. So what you want to do now is click on the search bar and type create a restore point and open it. Once you open it, click on local disk C where it says system. So if C isn't your system drive, then just click on the one that is. So for example, if there was system next to D, you would want to choose D, etc. So I'm gonna choose local disk C. Once you select it, click on configure, check the turn on system protection circle and once you're done, click on OK. Now what you want to do is click on create, name the restore point and click on create. Wait for it to finish creating and once it's done, it should say that the restore point was created successfully. Click on close and you can now close the system properties. And let's start. So first of all what you want to do is click on the link in the description and open up no ping. Once you click on the link this website should open up and now what you want to do is just click on install no ping and wait for the download to finish. No ping is an easy to use application that basically lets you choose from servers around the world and lowers your ping and fixes lag. It also has a one click boost fps option which really works. Once the download is done just click on no ping setup.exe, click on yes. Click on next, accept the terms, next, next, install and wait for it to finish installing. Once it's done installing, just click on finish and click on no because you'll restart your PC after this tutorial. Now just double click on opening, click on yes and open up the application. Now click on register now and create an account. Once you create a new account, what you want to do is just log in with your email and password. And once you're logged in, you can now start to boost your FPS and fix lag and lower ping in Fortnite. What you want to do now is just click on Fortnite right here or if you don't find it, then just click on search for a game and type Fortnite. Now click on Fortnite and click on select the server. Now what you want to do is click on where it says premium servers and click on other servers from the list. Now click on the refresh button and wait for the ping to show up. Now just choose the server that is the closest to you. So for example my country is not listed on here but Germany is the closest one to me so basically as you can see I'm getting the lowest ping with the Germany servers. I'm getting 45 ms with Frankfurt 5, 42 ms with Frankfurt 4 and 41 ms with Frankfurt 1 which is the lowest ping that I'll ever get. So what you want to do is just click on the server, select it and now click on optimize the game. Once you've optimized the game, what you want to do is click on the settings icon right here and now check the turbo games option. As you can see this function improves the keyboard and the mouse response time. So basically this just sends the clicks on your mouse and on your keyboard faster to the Fortnite server. And also check the boost FPS option because this option will boost the FPS of your game thus giving you better performance. And as you can see it's that easy so what you want to do is just select the server, open up your game, check the turbo games option, check the boost FPS option and you can now close the settings and your game is now optimized. You can now play Fortnite with lower ping and more FPS. And now once you're done you can just minimize no ping and play Fortnite. And now let's move on to the next steps. The second step is to click on the other link in the description and download the Fortnite 11 Boost FPS Pack and once you download it and unzip it on your desktop, click on the search bar and type percent app data percent and open it. Now click on app data at the top, open the local folder, open Fortnite game folder, open the saved folder config, windows client and now what you want to do is open the fortnite fps boost pack. Once you open it, click on config 
and here you can either choose high end or low end settings. I would advise you going with the low end settings because this will just give you more FPS. Once you open the folder, you'll see the engine configuration settings, game user settings and scalability. Now just copy all of them from the FPS boost pack and paste them into the Windows client folder. Click on replace the files in the destination, wait for it to be done and once it's done you can just close the Windows client folder. The next step is to go back to the Fortnite 11 boost FPS pack and open the optimizations folder. Now open the Fortnite priority folder and what you want to do now is just click double click on Fortnite high priority. Click on yes. It says are you sure you want to continue, click on yes and the keys and values have been successfully added to the registry, click on ok. If Fortnite starts to crash after this fix, then what you want to do is just go back to this Fortnite boost FPS pack and just double click on Fortnite normal priority and this will set Fortnite as it was. Once you're done with this step, go back to the optimizations folder and now double click on Fortnite X custom launcher, so open it up. Now open the folder with the letter of the drive where you have Fortnite installed. So for example, Fortnite is installed on my D drive, so I'm gonna open the D drive install folder. And now what you want to do is right click on the taskbar and open the task manager. Go to the performance tab and as you can see I have 6 cores and 12 logical processors. So the logical processors is the same as threads. So I'm going to open the folder with 6 cores and 12 threads. And there it is. So I'm going to open it up. And now what you want to do is just copy the shortcut and paste it on your desktop. And from now on whenever you want to play Fortnite just open it up using this shortcut. Once you're done you can close the task manager and go back to the optimizations folder in the FPS boost pack. Open the GPU settings folder now and right click on your desktop. Click on Nvidia control panel. Now click on manage 3D settings. Make sure that the high performance Nvidia processor is set as your preferred graphics processor. And now open the first image. Once you open it, what you want to do is just basically copy all of the settings from the image on in your Nvidia control panel. Once you're done with the first image, just go ahead and open the second one and copy the rest of the settings. Once you're done, just click on apply in the Nvidia control panel. Wait for the settings to be applied and you can then just close the Nvidia control panel. The next step is to go back to the optimizations folder and open the ISLC folder. Now double click on Intelligent Standby List Cleaner and click on Yes. Now click on the arrow in the bottom right corner, find the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner logo, there it is, and click on it. And it should open up. Now click on Stop if it's already working. Check the Enable Custom Timer Resolution box and set the Wanted Timer Resolution to 0.50. Now set the list size is at least to 1024 megabytes and set the free memory is lower than 8196 megabytes if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM or set it to 4096 megabytes if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM. Once you're done, click on purge standby list and click on start. You can now close the application. The next step is to go back to the optimizations folder and open the CCleaner setup. Click on yes, uncheck the yes install CCleaner browser box and click on install. Click on run CCleaner, now click on the registry tab. Make sure that all of these are selected and click on scan for issues. And now wait for it to finish. Once it's done, click on Fix Selected Issues, click on No, and click on Fix All Selected Issues. 
Once it's done, it should say issue fixed, click on close. And you can now close the CCleaner application. The next step is to open the NVIDIA Profile Inspector application. And now click on where it says Profiles and type Fortnite. Now select it from the list and this should open up. What you want to do now is set the frame rate limiter mode to frame rate limiter control delay flip by flip metering. So just up, open up the list and select it from the list. There it is. Once you select it, click on apply changes and you can then close the NVIDIA profile inspector application. The next step is to double click on park control setup 64. Click on yes, click on ok, I agree, next, install and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, it should automatically open up. Now click on where it says CPU settings for power profile and select Bitsum highest performance from the list. Make sure that all of these are set at 100% and once you're done, click on apply. It should say new settings have been applied, click on ok and click on ok again. The next step is to click on quick CPU setup, click on next, accept the terms, next, next, install and wait for it to finish. Click on yes, click on finish, click on yes again and it should open up. Now click on where it says system power plan and select Bitsum highest performance. Once you're done, make sure that all of these are set at 100%. So the core parking index, frequency scaling index and the turbo boost index. Once you're done, click on apply. It should say change is successfully applied. Click on OK and click on close. Now double click on registry editor tweak. Click on yes. It says, are you sure you want to continue? Click on yes again. And the keys and values have been successfully added to the registry. Click on OK. The next step is to right click on Windows Deep Loader and click on Run with PowerShell. If you can't see this option here, then click on Open with and select PowerShell from this list. I'm gonna click on Run with PowerShell and this should open up. Now click on remove all bloatware and wait for the script to finish. Once it's done, it should say finished all tasks and you can now close the Windows PowerShell. The next step is to go back to the Fortnite 11 Boost FPS pack and open the Ultimate Performance mode. Once you open it, click on the search bar and type CMD, right click on the command prompt and click on run as administrator. Click on yes. Now copy the command from the ultimate performance mode notepad file and paste it in CMD. Click on enter and the ultimate performance mode has been enabled. You can now close the command prompt and click on the search bar again. Type edit power plan and open it. Now click on power options and select the ultimate performance mode from the list. Once you select it, you can close the power options and you can close the notepad file. The next step is to open the launch options notepad file which is in the boost pack and what you want to do is just copy this command and paste it in the Epic Games launcher. Just make sure that you change the preferred processor number to the number of CPU cores that you have. And you can find this by going to Task Manager, Performance tab, CPU and look for how many logical processors you have. That's the number that you should enter right here. Once you're done with this step, you can close the Fortnite FPS Boost Pack. And now open this PC. So click on the search bar, type this PC and open it up. Now open the driver where you have Fortnite installed at. Go to Local Disk C. Open the Program Files x86 folder, open the Epic Games folder, open the Fortnite folder, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. And now scroll down until you find these four applications. So the Fortnite client Win64 shipping, shipping BE, shipping EAC and the Fortnite launcher. 
What you want to do now is just right click on the first one, click on properties, go to the compatibility tab and make sure that the disable full screen optimizations box is checked and once you check it click on change high DPI settings and check the override high DPI scaling behavior, scaling performed by application. Once you're done click on ok, click on apply and click on ok again. Now do the same steps for the rest of the applications, so shipping B, shipping EAC and the Fortnite launcher. Once you're done you can close the Windows 64 folder. The next step is to open the optimizations folder. Now open the optimization fixes folder. And basically these are all just fixes for the registry editor that will optimize your game. So what you want to do is click on the first one, disable DVR1. Click on yes. It says are you sure you want to continue? Click on yes again. And the keys and values have been successfully added to the registry. Click on OK. Now click on the second one and do the same thing. Click on yes. Click on yes again. And click on OK. Now click on the third one. Click on yes. Yes. OK. Click on the fourth one. Gameoptimizations.reg. Click on yes. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And OK. And now double click on Met High Optimization. Click on yes. Click on yes again and click on OK. And basically that's it for this step. And now once you're done you can close the FPS boost pack and we can move on with this tutorial by changing the in-game settings. And now once you open up the game what you want to do is open up the settings. And once you're in the settings go to the video settings, so the first one. And set the window mode to full screen or windowed full screen. I would advise you to set it to full screen. Set the display resolution to the highest that you can, so 1920 by 1080 is the highest for me. Set the frame rate limit to unlimited. Set the 3D resolution to around 60 or 70%. Set the view distance to far. Turn off the shadows. Turn off anti-aliasing. Set the textures to low. Set the effects to low. And set the post-processing to low. Now turn off VSync, turn off motion blur, you can turn on show FPS and turn on allow multi-threaded rendering. Once you're done just click on apply, it says do you want to keep these video settings, click on yes, click on back and you can now exit Fortnite. And the last step is to update your drivers and you can do that by going to the Nvidia GeForce drivers website and download the GeForce Experience application with, which automatically keeps your drivers up to date and your games super optimized. If you have an AMD graphics card then go to the AMD website, scroll down to the bottom and download Auto Detect and install Radeon graphics drivers for Windows. So click on don't download now and this will automatically update your drivers. And if you have an Intel graphics card then go to the Intel website, click on get started where it says automatically update your drivers and download the Intel driver and support assistant. Click on download now and this will also automatically update your drivers. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helped. Bye.